Welcome to CG Dive. In this quick tip video, I'm going to show you two ways in which you can edit or synchronize the properties of several separate objects or bones or curves or pretty much any type of data that you can edit in Blender. So first I'm going to demonstrate on objects because that's probably the easiest case. So before we go any further, we have to make sure that you understand the concept of active object in Blender. In Blender, if you click an object, it is selected, but it also becomes the active object, which means that its properties are shown here in the properties window. For example, here we can see the object properties of the monkey. If I select another object, then I'll be able to edit the properties of that object. If we select multiple objects by shift clicking or box selecting, then you'll see that they are all selected, but only one of them has a special highlight around it, a brighter highlight, which means that this object is the active object. All other objects are simply selected and not active. And so if I edit any of these properties here, I'll be editing the properties of the active object. So for example, I can show the name of this object in the viewport. So now what do we do if we want to affect all of these objects at the same time? And for most properties in Blender, what you can do is have one object as active and other objects as selected. And then in the properties window, you can alt and click the property that you want to affect. So I'll hold alt and click on name and the name appeared under all of these objects. Now this is very useful, but I want to give you an alternative uh, to this because I often use this technique in my tutorials and in the comments, people were saying it doesn't work for me. And I was confused why. Eventually I figured out that it has to do with an user preference. So if you go to edit preferences, input, there is this emulate three button mouse. So if you have a mouse with only two buttons, um, I would say go buy a proper mouse, but in the meantime, you can check this uh, setting and that emulates the function of the middle mouse when you hold Alt and click the left mouse button. So when you have this option selected and we Alt and click in the properties window, instead of affecting the property, we start scrolling in the properties window. And that is what the middle mouse button does. Okay. So that is the problem. I'm going to disable this setting because I have a mouse with three buttons. But if you do have to keep this setting, there is an alternative to Alt and click, and it is a very good alternative. What you can do is simply click, normal click on the property, and then right click and choose copy to select it. And that disabled the name property for all of these objects. So let's show an example with bones because that's what I do a lot on CG Dive. So by default, bones in Blender are deforming bones. Here is the deform option checked. If I want to disable the deform option for multiple bones, I can select all of them and either Alt and click the setting and all objects will become non-deforming. Or again, if I select all, I can enable it for the active object and then right click and copy to select it. And now all of them will be deforming again. And that will work for most properties. And one more example with Rigify, because that's another thing that I do a lot on the channel. I'll create a uh, human meta rig. And for example, if I want to tweak the rig types of the meta rig, I have to select bones that hold the same rig type. So one example where that is very useful is in the fingers, because there are 10 fingers and you usually want to keep them with the same settings. So I'll just select the first bone in each finger. Okay. If I want to enable IK control for this bone, I can either alt click or I can just click and use copy to select it. And let's say that I want to change the bone rotation axis to X manual. I'll change it without holding alt and then I'll right click and copy to select it. And now if we check all of our bones, you'll see that they have IK control enabled and they switch to X manual. So that's it. A while ago, I actually wrote an article on my blog on cgdive.com, which contains even more tips for automating certain processes in Blender. Even when the alt and click and copy to select it doesn't work, I have other suggestions. Uh, if you like to read, please read it. And in the future, I may cover these additional tips in a video. If you like this video, please click like, subscribe, and consider joining my Patreon supporters.